Hi, welcome back to C23 Classroom Channel. So uh, for today, I would like to discuss about a uh, solution for boundary layers that has lamina and turbulent boundary layers. So in this uh, syllabus, so we assume that we have a thin flat plate like this and a boundary layer occur on it. But the problem is, uh, in previous lesson, we calculate only 100% boundary layer or fully uh, lamina boundary layer or fully turbulent boundary layer. But in this problem, we uh, try to solve a situation where we have a part of lamina boundary layer occur before it turns into fully turbulent boundary layer. So uh, let's say we have a problem like this. Estimate the boundary layer thickness at the end of a 4 meter long flat surface if the air free stream velocity is 5 meter per second. And also predict the drag force if the surface is 5 meter wide. We have two conditions here. First, we try to calculate by neglecting the lamina boundary layers and we try to account the lamina boundary layers if the Renault critical is 5 times 10 by the power of 5. So in this case, the velocity profile for lamina and turbulent boundary layer is not given. To simplify this calculation, it is okay for us to take Blasius exact solution as representative for lamina boundary layer and 17 power law as representative for turbulent boundary layer. So we try to uh, solve the first question, means uh, we assume that the lamina boundary layer is not affected the result. So uh, because uh, we neglect the lamina boundary layers, what we should do is first we need to check whether the Reynolds number at the edge of the plate is exceeding uh, lamina limits or not. So this is the Reynolds number equation rho u x over mu. We substitute the value here. And so in this case, I use u x and nu, which is it is this is the kinematic viscosity of air, and I get one point two five times ten by the power of six, as mentioned in the question. Renault number critical is 5 times 10 by the power of 5 and what we get here is uh, Renault number larger than the critical value so means that the boundary layer is in turbulent condition. As uh, I said in uh, the in previous slide because it is uh, there are no uh, specific velocity profile in this case. So I took 1.7 power law as the velocity profile for turbulent boundary layer. So from, uh, from the previous lesson, we get that delta is equal to 0.38x over the number by the power of 1 over 5. We substitute uh, the value here according to the questions and we could get 0 0.09917 meter. So, uh, according to the question, the length of plate, flat plate is 4 meters. To calculate the drag force, this is the common uh, equation for the drag force, CD 1 over 2 rho AU square, and we substitute the value of CD. So, we could get this CD by doing the von Karman uh, solution with 1 7 power law, which is the U over U is equal to Y over delta by the power of 1 over 7 we could get 0 0.073. So uh, we already discussed about this in a previous bit lesson. After we substitute, we get 1.28 Newton. Now we go for second question. So in this calculation, we need to account the lamina boundary layer. So first we need to calculate what is the uh, boundary layer thickness delta. First, we need to know whether the lamina boundary layer is long or short because if lamina boundary layer is too small, might be we could neglect the lamina boundary layers. We need some confirmation on this. 
So we have a Renault critical as 5 times 10 by the power of 5 and we equalize this value with the Renault number equation rho ux over mu or ux over nu where nu here is the kinematic viscosity. So Renault critical numbers here means this is the location, this is the limit where 100% turbulent boundary layer occurs. So means that before this Renault number we could assume that all calculation can be used as laminar boundary layer. So uh, we complete this, we solve this equation, we could find that x is equal to 1.6 meter. It is mean that laminar boundary layers was occur for 1.6 meter from total plate length which is 4 meters. It is 40% from the whole plate length, means that this is uh, this value is too large and it cannot be neglected. It needs to be accounted in the cal calculation. So means that first you need to verify whether the laminar boundary layer need to be count account or not. So first what we need to do is uh, we take Blasius solution as the representative for the laminar boundary layers. From the Blasius solution, we could get that delta is equal to 5x over a uh, third Renault number. We substitute the value and uh, we could get that the boundary layer thickness is 0 0.0113 meters. Then we do the, the reverse calculation here which is that uh, if delta is 0 0.0113, so we could substitute with the boundary layer thickness from the turbulent side, the boundary layer thickness from the 17 power law to get the value of x here. So uh, we substitute the value of delta with 0 0.0113, uh, we put the Renault number here and then we could get that the X here is equal to 0 0.292 meters. So what it is mean by that calculation? So it's mean that for the first calculation, so we follow, we solve the laminar boundary layer here. So, so it create the boundary, the laminar boundary layers occur until this point. So, so this length is 0 0.1.6 meters. So laminar boundary layer occurs until x is equal 1.6 meters. And then start from this point, the turbulent to the turbulent boundary layers start to grow. So however, as uh, we learned previously, the turbulent boundary layers, the theory of turbulent boundary layers or theory for laminar boundary layers need to be start at x equal to zero. So means that we need to draw these turbulent boundary layers and we cannot do our calculation from this point because this is not its starting point. We need to imagine that this turbulent boundary layer has its own starting point. So we need to know where is this turbulent boundary layer's starting point. So what we need to do is we know that the laminar boundary layers create boundary layer thickness at here and we could determine it by using the Blasius solution. So then we substitute the value of Renault critical here. This is the Renault critical uh, point. So we substitute the Renault critical here to get the delta or the boundary layer thickness at this point. Okay, this point also share a sharing point of lamina and turbulence so means that we could calculate what is the x here the distance here okay the distance here if we know the thickness so from the lamina boundary layer thickness we get it is around 
0.0113 meter. So mean the thickness here is 0.0113 meters. So we substitute the this thickness within turbulent boundary layer thickness equation, which is 0.38x Renault number 1 over 6. So in this term, we need to expand the Renault number because Renault number has rho u x over mu. So we have one x here, x by the power of 1 over 5, and we have another x here. So and then we need to solve uh, you need to solve this first okay then we substitute the value of delta here with 0 0.0113 so we could get the value of x so according to this calculation we could get that x is equal 0 0.292 meter so what it is mean so it means that from this point so we need to extend the value of x here 0 0.292 meter so at this point the turbulent boundary layer should be started okay so in this calculation we show that we mentioned this x equals 0 0.292 as x prime mean the distance from the uh, merging point between lamina boundary layers and turbulent boundary layers to the starting point of turbulent boundary layers which is x prime, x dash here, so 0 0.292 meters. So we could say that the total distance that has turbulent boundary layers can be calculated by using this equation. So this means that we have a total length here. So and then we need to deduct minus with the length of lamina boundary layers. And then we need to add with the extension of this length, which is x prime. So we could say that the total length for turbulent boundary layers only, it is equal to total of the flat plate here, minus with the xt, x lamina here. And then we add again with the value of x prime here. So according to what we have here, so we have 4 meter length, 4 meter long flat plate minus 1.6, the length of the lamina, and then we add 0 0.292, mean the extension of the boundary layers that occur inside the lamina boundary layers. So we get total 2.69 meter. So means that after this, we calculate everything by using equation of turbulent boundary layers However, we just imagine we only need to consider plate plate length as 2.69 meter only. Okay, so it is because in lamina or turbulent theoretical calculation, we find that we develop our equation by using boundary condition which is x is equal to 0 and delta is equal to 0. So means all the equation that we have now must be developed from its starting point. So, for example, when we uh, agree to use that the length of turbulent lamina, a uh, turbulent boundary layer is two point six nine meters. So uh, we calculate the Renault number rho u x over mu. We substitute the value and we get it is around eight hundred thousand value here we substitute the value of delta 0 0.38 x over Renault number by the power one six one fifth so it's mean this equation we, uh, we take from the one seven power law means that we assume that the velocity profile for turbulent boundary layer is y over delta by the power one over seven so we get this value, we substitute with all the value that we have, we could say that the delta is 0 0.068 meter. So what it mean? It means that so 
So we just calculate the turbulent boundary layer here and then because the length here is only 2.6 something so we could determine the boundary layer thickness here. So uh, when we compare with the previous uh, calculation, we found that the previous calculation, calculation with uh, totally neglect the existence of lamina boundary layers, the answer is quite different. It has 37% uh, difference. The first calculation shows uh, a higher value, 0 0.0917, while the second calculation is 0 0.0668. So according to the observation from the experimental work, if you could conduct it, you could find that the calculation by using this idea means uh, accounted of uh, lamina boundary layer is more accurate compared to the previous one. Now we need to calculate the drag force here. So uh, we first uh, we calculate the Renault number and we must uh, Bear in mind that now we are calculating drag force for the total plate. So means that we need to calculate the Renault number for the total plate. So we need to use X here is 4 meter, not 2.6 something. We need to use 4 meter here and we calculate we get 1.25 times 10 by the power of 6. Then we need to use a special CD before we could calculate the drag force. Why we need to use special CD here, uh, drag coefficient, because we need to have a drag coefficient that, uh, in, that uh, included the influences of lamina and turbulent boundary layers. We cannot use just one CD that come from lamina or that come from turbulent boundary layers. Okay, please bear in mind, if you calculate boundary layers that uh, have two parts, lamina and turbulent boundary layer, you need to use special drag coefficient like this, 0 0.073 over Renault number 1 over 5 minus 1,700 Renault numbers. So you, we substitute the value of Renault numbers for the, for the real length, for the real flat plate. And you will get it is around 0 0.00304. We substitute into this equation. So CD is 0 0.00304. We have a uh, rho density of air 1.164. We have an A 4 times 5 and the uh, free stream velocity which is which is 5 meter per second and then we get 0 0.085 newtons. So how to determine this one? So it uh, need to be determined with uh, empirical uh, method. So this is not a part of uh, this syllabus. But what I could show you is this is the guideline to choose the value of CD. So it depends on our critical Renault number. So if the critical Renault number is 3 times 10 by the power of 5, so we need to use this drag coefficient. And if 5 times 10 of, by the power of 5, so this is the CD for this one, and for 6 times 10 by the power of 5, so this is the official value of drag coefficient. 